the mText editor is updated in AutoCAD 2015 to offer better visibility and control. The background is now transparent when hardware acceleration is enabled, so you can see drawing geometry even when the editor opens on top of it. A corner resizer offers more obvious and intuitive resizing of columns, allowing you to adjust both the height and width at the same time. If you pass the cursor over the bottom or right edges of the text editor, you can change either the height or width individually. When you enter text in the mText editor, AutoCAD recognizes if caps lock is turned on while you're also pressing the shift key. When you press enter or spacebar after typing the first word, AutoCAD automatically corrects the text and turns off caps lock so that you can continue typing without interruption. Creating bullets and numbering is simplified in AutoCAD 2015. A new control on the text editor ribbon tab enables auto bullets and numbering. When you begin a line with a symbol or with a number or letter followed by a special character, such as a period or parentheses, AutoCAD automatically creates a bullet or numbered list. An icon indicates that automatic bullets or numbering has started. You can click on the icon to access relevant controls, including an option to remove bullets or numbering. Auto stacking of fractions is also simplified in AutoCAD 2015. When you enter numbers with a forward slash, for example 1 forward slash 2, AutoCAD automatically treats it as a stacked fraction and displays an icon similar to the one for auto bullets and numbering. You can click on the icon to access relevant controls for that stacked fraction. For example, you can change between diagonal and horizontal stacking, unstack the characters, or access the stack properties. The stack properties enable you to further change the appearance and behavior of stacked fractions. You can specify whether the value displays as a fraction, tolerance, or decimal, as well as its position and text size relative to the other text. Tooltips have been added to the tab tool and markers in the text editor to assist you in creating and editing paragraph tabs. A new modify button in the paragraph dialog box enables you to easily modify the values of existing tabs. A Match Properties tool has been added to the Text Editor ribbon tab and toolbar, enabling you to apply properties between selected text within an mText object. Another handy enhancement to the Text Editing ribbon is the Subscript and Superscript tools. Now you can simply highlight characters in the Text Editor and turn Superscript or Subscript on and off. This and many of the mText enhancements are available for other objects that use the Text Editor such as tables, leaders, and dimensions. The new text aligned command enables you to quickly align single and multi-text as well as attribute text by selecting the text objects to align and then picking the text you want them to align with or selecting points to manually define the alignment line. You can also choose from a variety of spacing options including the ability to distribute them evenly, set a spacing value, maintain the current vertical spacing, or maintain the current horizontal spacing.